Hello, welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Connor McCarthy. I'm Nate Edelman. I'm Brian Chong. Poly Playbook starts now. Who do you think will win the Super Bowl this year? I think the Patriots are going to win. Hi, I'm Joe Schatz, and I'm here at Spano Stadium. I'm Megan Healy here at Staples Center. Myself will be taking on Sierra Island. Best pitcher in Big West softball history. Let's see how this goes. Tune in every week to Poly Playbook right here on Mustang News. Hello and welcome to another fresh edition of Poly Playbook. We're serving up all the hot action, cool plays, and everything in between for Cal Poly Athletics. I'm Kylie Smith. Poly Playbook starts now. The Cal Poly women's beach volleyball team secured its spot in the NCAA tournament for the first time in program history and claimed the program's first Big West championship title on April 27th. I think that everyone was shook at how awesome that was. There was this, just this magic everywhere that was flowing through everyone. We finally were clicking as a full-on team. Everyone was playing together and playing as a team, which I feel like we had been struggling with before, and we really locked down and played our best this weekend. The beach volleyball team will forever be remembered by its performance this past weekend, winning its first Big West championship in program history. The team came away with two sweeps against Long Beach and Sacramento on Friday. It was awesome because we lost to Long Beach before and so getting that redemption and that revenge was so sweet and doing it in a sweep felt even better. So getting that 5-0 sweep was just really great for our confidence level and our excitement going forward in the tournament. Saturday, the Mustangs swiped the Rainbow Wahinis three-year title right out from under them. We knew going into the next game we had the up on Hawaii and it was a championship game and we were all just so excited that this could be it. We could win Big West and we could possibly be going to Bama, which we are. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was it was an awesome moment. Roscoe and Grunwald clinched the match for the Mustangs, winning the third and final set against Hawaii. They will travel to the Gulf Shores this weekend for the NCAA tournament. Final point was just probably one of the best experiences of my life. Kylie Smith, Mustang News. The team made history this season. Unfortunately, they lost the first two matches of the tournament on May 3rd to Hawaii and Florida State. They were eliminated. Following their historic season, the Cal Poly Beach Volleyball team took home multiple Big West and national awards. Not only were Tierra Merrick and Chrissy Jones named Big West Paris Team of the Year, they also were recognized as the AVCA All-Americans. As the number one pair for Cal Poly, Jones and Mirak had a pair record of 22 and 8 and helped the Mustangs with their first Big West title by sweeping all four of their matches in the Big West tournament. A total of five players received Big West Conference honors and head coach Todd Rogers earned Coach of the Year honors. After not being selected in the 2019 NFL Draft, the all-time leading rusher in Cal Poly history, Joe Prothero was invited to the San Francisco 49ers rookie minicamp. You know, I think I, I left in person that I'm willing to learn, so I mean, that's the most important thing coming from the triple option offense and trying to transition into pro-style pro offense. NFL experience, you know, everybody out here works hard just like they did at Cal Poly, so, you know, it's just like here, you, you know, being watched for everything, so you just got to make sure you everything's good, so. I mean, I think I did all right. You know, I think I always think I could do better, though. So, you know, tomorrow I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna do better. If I don't, if they don't pull me up on the on the 90-man roster, you know, it's not the end of the world. I, I'll go home Saturday, get to see my kids Saturday. You know, instead of seeing them on Sunday, if they don't pull me up to 90 men, so that's that's a positive. Cal Poly men's basketball new head coach John Smith is looking to turn the team's fortunes around. Smith previously was an associate head coach at Cal State Fullerton where he helps coach the Titans to three straight postseason appearances over the last three years. Smith is now tasked with rebuilding a Cal Poly program that has not had a winning season since the 2013-2014 season. The Mustangs finished last season with a 6-23 and record while only winning two of their Big West Conference games. Uh, a fast-paced system, an aggressive defensive system. Once we get it all in place and the pieces in place, hopefully day by day, game by game, you know, 
it will, it will impose its will on, on our opponent. Starting point guard Di Staley is sticking around for another year with the women's basketball program as a student assistant coach. She shoots, she scores. Di Staley, the starting point guard for the women's basketball team at Cal Poly, is now stepping into a new role for the team. This past week has really thrown my plans up in the air because I'm not really sure if I want to go into industry straight away or if I do want to pursue the coaching and um, giving back to the sport that gave me so much. She served the team well the past four years. For her fifth year at Cal Poly, she will be transitioning into the student assistant coaching position. It's definitely going to be hard. Um, knowing me, my personality, I'm just going to want to go out there and do it for them, and coaching is way different than, than being a player. Coach Faith Mimnoff thinks that Staley has been doing the pouring into all along. It's a natural progression, easy for her, I think, to move into a coaching because she's already got pretty good reps at doing that, a coach on the floor as a point guard. During her four years on the team, she has contributed 159 steals and 341 assists, both nationally ranked stats. We all consider her another coach on the floor. Um, she really knows what she's talking about. And we always go to her if we kind of don't know what we're doing or if we need advice about something. She um, kind of played that role last year and the year before for me as well. Yeah, I, w I want them to do so much better than me personally that I did in the program and how the teams in the past did in the program. And if I can help by being a coach and help them experience that, then I'm Kylie Smith, Mustang News. The Cal Poly baseball team dropped into second place in the Big West standings after losing two out of three games to UC Irvine. After falling behind 4-0 in the first game of the three-game series, the Mustangs rallied to cut the lead to 4-3, but could not complete the comeback as Irvine went on to win 7-3. In the second game, Cal Poly was shut out for just the fourth time this season and fell 8-0. Cal Poly redeemed themselves in the final game by scoring five runs in the first inning, sparked by Conagher Sands' first collegiate home run. And the Mustangs went on to defeat the Anteaters 8-3. Cal Poly currently has a record of 13-5 in the Big West Conference and is two games back of first place. Earlier this season, the Cal Poly baseball team rallied around freshman designated hitter Conagher Sands by shaving their heads to support his mother who is battling breast cancer. Just over two weeks ago, the now first place Cowboy Mustangs were coming off one of their worst stretches in program history, having given up a combined 51 runs in four games. Uh, we knew we just had to play like uh, up to our ability. Um, when we have everything clicking, all cylinders, all facets of the game, uh, we're a really dangerous team. So I um, you know, just had to clean it up and get our minds right. That all changed when several players decided to shave their heads support a freshman designated hitter, Connor Sands, whose mother had been diagnosed with breast cancer. I know for me, um, mentally, uh, like I was in, I was like a head case because uh, my mom, but when all the guys rallied behind me, it really helped me like feel supported and um, helped me be able to clear my mind at the plate. For a couple weeks, I was tossed around the idea of shaving my head uh, to support my mom and then uh, some of the leaders on the team, like uh, Clark and Dollard, uh, they really came up big and were like, yeah, we're going to help you out, we're going to do it with you, and we're going to try to get as many guys on board as possible to help me out and support my mom. And I'd do anything for them, and uh, just knowing that they'd do anything for me really is amazing. She loved it. Uh, I, I had a phone call with her the night before, just joking about it, and then once the day came, um, I told her, I was like, yeah, this is going to... This is what's gonna happen, and she's like, "Oh, this is amazing! Like, thanks for supporting me. I love you guys." This became a turning point for the season as Sands led the Mustangs to historic sweeps of both UC Davis and uh, Long Beach State. Great to uh, see everybody come together and support one team. It shows uh, solidarity. It shows that they understand the big picture. I'm very proud of them and, uh, for you know, taking that step and, and uh, comforting. As much as possible. It's tough uh, yeah, at any age to deal with, with something like this and somebody that you love. And, uh, he's been able to kind of compartmentalize it and just with the extra strength that knowing that everybody else is behind him also.
sure that helps us quite a bit. Cal Poly has emerged as the sole leader in the Big West Conference, and through this bond, the team is going to keep fighting for each other, both on and off the field. Sorry, Milam, Mustang News. Junior right-hander Bobby I talks about stepping back onto the mound this season. He suffered his first loss this past Saturday and now has a record of 7-1. and one. Junior right-hander Bobby I steps up to the mound again this season after recovering from a shoulder injury last year. Um, I felt like hopping on a bike again after not being able to play for, you know, for a year. I spent the first few series of the season trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, I would say my first start of the year was definitely on. Um, I just kind of had to take, take a step back from just caring so much about each one of my starts and the results about it. It kind of just focused on the process going into it. So I, I put a lot more uh, emphasis on my preparation, just kind of staying calm out there and not really worrying about what happens. It's more of just what I can control. So my effort, where my attention is every single pitch, and that has made a world of difference. And obviously you get you know, have one good start and give you some confidence, go to the next good start, and then it just kind of gets the ball rolling. The start that helped him find his rhythm again, the series against Columbia. His longest start as a Mustang. And I think just going into that start, I kind of knew like, okay, this is it. This is gonna be a good start. And I just had that confidence going into it. I just remember throwing pitches when I wanted to throw them, where I wanted to throw them, and in certain counts, I was able to dictate what I wanted to do. And then watching that film back every single week, and building off of the steps that I made, is definitely that was the first building block. To where I was going. So we'll try it again. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a ground ball to third. This should do it. DiCarlo snaps the throw to first, and this game is over. It belongs. Going up against me, it's, uh, I, in my mind, I'm thinking that I'm better than them. And that's what gives me the confidence each and every time I go out there. And, you know, maybe uh, there'll be a start to where I won't do well, and there's starts where I'll do it, like, really well. But for me, that mindset will never change of uh, I'm the best guy out there at all times. Kylie Smith, Mustang News. On the Mustang Game Day segment, Walk the Bases, reporter Sam Spitz interviews Cal Poly senior pitcher Michael Clark. Take a look. Hello and welcome to another edition of Walk the Bases. I'm Sam Spitz with Mustang News and joining me here today is Michael Clark, the Cal Poly senior pitcher. Michael, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right. Let's hit it. So, College Sports Madness named you the Big West Conference Player of the Week for the second time. Tell me, what does this mean for you? Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, as long as we win, that's the biggest thing that matters. But uh, this week was pretty big, uh, going into Long Beach and, and sweeping them for the first time in I don't know how many years, but I think I know it's been forever. Uh, so it was definitely cool. Uh, I mean, our team played great. They picked me up on Sunday for sure, or on Saturday for sure. So that was awesome. Yeah, and so you have a six and one record right now. How have you seen yourself as a pitcher improve? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just kind of taking on a, a bigger role, not uh, just being a closer, but kind of being like a, a long reliever. Um, being able to come in in like the fifth inning where a little different compared to my starts last year where, where I struggled a little bit early on. Um, so I think, I think I've just grown as far, I think I've grown more as a, as a bullpen guy this year. To watch the full segment, subscribe to Mustang News on YouTube. The Cal Poly softball team wrapped up their season with a three-game home series against UC Santa Barbara going one and two. On Friday, the Mustangs and the Gauchos split a doubleheader with the Gauchos taking the first game six to five. Cal Poly took the early lead but was unable to hold on to it, giving up three runs in the top of the seventh and then was unable to make the comeback. In the second game, Cal Poly jumped out ahead in the first three innings and managed to hold on to the lead to secure the win. And on Sunday, the Mustangs had their senior day, but ended the season on a low note, giving up nine unanswered runs before scoring their only run of the game. The game was called as a run rule in the loss of the fifth. Five Mustangs took home Big West titles at the track and field Big West Conference Championships. Brooke to Gerald became the second woman in the past 23 years to win the pole vault title in consecutive years. Abby Raman Davies also won her second straight title in the triple jump. Miranda Dashian took home two Big West titles by winning both 5,000 meter 
and 10,000 meter races. For men, Alex Murder won the 15 meter race and Bobby Pointer won the 800. Overall, the women's team finished in third place and the men came in fourth. Well, that's all we have for Poly Playbook Sports Action this show. You can follow us on Instagram and Snapchat or log on to mustangnews.net for continuous Cal Poly sports coverage. I'm Kylie Smith. Have a great rest of your week.